Two down as Greg Matthews strikes out. Here's the left-handed hitting shortstop Alex Breen. Against the right-hander, Ryan Hirschfeld. The wind and pitch, and the breaking ball is low and away. One ball and no strikes. At 1305 Edison Street in Brush, CMC Auto Parts is your local Napa Auto Parts store. The offering swung on and driven into right field. Daniel Soto is going to play that on one hop. It's a base hit for Alex Breen. With two outs here in the top of the first inning. And that'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Jack Prisgola, the left-handed hitting center fielder. Lots of lefties in this lineup for University. Three of the first four lefties. And the pitch gets away underneath the glove of Trevor Blake all the way to the screen. And advancing to second is going to be Breen. So one ball and no strikes on Jack Prisgola. University yesterday lost to Meade 4-3, to three, then blasted Connor for 12 nothing. The offering. Breaking ball is driven deep into center field and starting in was Acosta. He goes back and the ball is over his head. That ball rolls all the way to the fence. Rounding third and scoring is going to be Alex Breen. And on the RBI double from Prisgola, University leads one nothing. Acosta misjudged that one badly. He came in a couple of steps. And University with the early lead. And that'll bring up Joseph Galarza. Here's the pitch from Hirschfeld. Fastball outside runner going to third. It's a stolen base. For Prix Gola. It's one ball and no strikes. One and oh to the right handed hitting third baseman. The pitch. Fastball is up and in. Two and oh. Two balls, no strikes. Two down. This is a two out rally that's been generated so far here by University. The offering. And it looked like a check swung, but he went on the inside corner with a fastball. It's two and one. These teams met last year in the opening game of the Fort Morgan Spring Classic. The Mustangs are checked that the Beat Diggers were short handed. Lost that game 15 nothing, but then Hirschfeld beat them in the regular season going the distance 2-1 to one in brush. Breaking ball is tapped foul behind the plate. And the count is level at 2-2. Two and two. Keep in mind that you can stay on track with this game. Go to KSIRsports.com, a play-by-pitch pitch, uh, summary, I should say, pitch-by-pitch pitch summary throughout the 2012 Brush B. Digger baseball season. Gives you full stats and a rundown. Of each and every game, you can check out the past two games, victories over Platte Valley and Fort Morgan, the pitch, and the breaking ball is tapped foul behind the plate. The count remains at two balls and two strikes to Joseph Galarza. Already 19 pitches thrown in the opening frame by Ryan Hirschfeld. Leading off of third is Prisgola. Blake setting up on the outside. The 2-2 offering. Swung on and grounded weakly on the left side. Third baseman Monday has it go underneath his glove. That's going to be an infield hit. As he was ranging to his left, would have been a tough play for Maris. Scoring is Prisgola. That's the third consecutive hit for University. They now lead two to nothing. And that'll bring up Zach Cruz. And the pitch is low and away. One ball and no strikes. Cruz, the right-handed hitting second baseman. Yeah, Monday's the only one who really had a play on that one if he had it because he had to range far to his left. The pitch, fastball is a strike on the outside corner. The count is level at one ball and one strike to Zach Cruz. Hirschfeld re- retired the first two hitters, then uh, allowed three base hits. And the 1-1. Fastball outside corner again for a strike at the knees. It is one and two. The Bay Diggers will be back in action coming up on Thursday, three o'clock start from Broomfield against Holy Family. We'll have it for you right here on 1010 as well as KSIR.com. The one two offering swung on, tapped foul up the third base side and out of play. Count remains at one and two to Zach Cruz. A ground out, a strikeout, then a single. 
a double and an infield hit. That's produced the two runs for the Bulldogs. But the Baydickers certainly know about rallying as they did the other night when they were down 6 to nothing in the sixth inning and defeated Fort Morgan 7-6. to six. One and two to Cruz. And the pitch swung on. That ball is lifted down the right field line, twisting into foul territory. It is foul. The count stays at one and two. Well, the wind was certainly not a factor on Thursday. The temperature was. Today, the temperature is not as much a factor. The wind is. It is blowing out there big time. Even the dust around home plate. One and two to Cruz. Two nothing University. We're still in the first inning. The stretch by Hirschfeld. The pitch. Fastball called strike three on the outer half thigh high. And the inning is over. Two runs on three hits. No errors. And there was one man left. We go to the bottom of the first inning. University two. And the Beat Diggers are coming to bat in the championship game of the Fort Morgan Spring Classic. Right here on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Beat Diggers starting lineups brought to you by T.O. Charlie's for a great used car truck. You can find it at T.O. Charlie's at 700 West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. Batting first for the Beat Diggers is the shortstop Gregory Mares. The left fielder Eric Garcia hits second. First baseman Mitch Tormolin bats third. The cleanup hitter is the third baseman Titer Monday. Batting fifth is the catcher Trevor Blake. The pitcher Ryan Hirschfeld will bat sixth. Dylan Acosta in center hits seventh. Daniel Soto, the right fielder, bats eighth. And Kyle Rosenbrock, the second baseman, bats ninth. For University defensively, Brandon Ewing is at first. Zach Cruz is the second baseman. Joseph Galarza is at third. In between them at short is Alex Breen. Around the outfield, Xavier Cruz is in left. The center fielder is Jack Prisgola. James Medina in right. Behind the plate is Greg Matthews. And on the mound, right-hander Brand- Brayden Teeth. Brayden Teeth on the mound for University. The Bulldogs with a 2 nothing lead on an RBI double from Jack Prisgola and a run-scoring single from Joseph Galarza. Gregory Mayer is looking for his first hit of the season. Wind and pitch. And that's slow breaking balls in there for a strike. No balls in one strike, although Mayer reached base four times against Fort Morgan, thanks in part to walks and hit-by-pitches. And the 0-1 offering down in the dirt. One ball, one strike. The beat are going to have to be patient against this slow throwing. I shouldn't say slow, but they deceptively throwing right-hander here. It's not going to blow you away. One ball, one strike. Maris awaits the pitch, and that is on the inside corner for a strike. One and two. Yeah, again, lots of off-speed stuff from Brayden Peef. Here's the wind, the one-two. Swung on and lifted into foul territory on the left side. Out of play. Yeah, it is amazing. The wind here is just howling. One and two to Gregory Mares. Mares hitting for the right side. And here's the pitch. Swag and a miss and a slow curve, and Maris strikes out for the third time this season already. Still trying to find his rhythm after just being removed from the basketball season. There's one down. That'll bring up Eric Garcia, hitting 333 early in the season, leads the team with three RBIs. Wine and pitch to the left handed hitter. Swung on, driven into right field. That's a base hit. And Garcia's a major threat. He's already got two stolen bases. As Mitch Tormolin steps to the plate. Tormolin had a big two-run single against Fort Morgan in that seven-run sixth inning as the beat diggers shocked the Mustangs on Thursday, 7-6. to six. For the right side. The pitch in the dirt. Blocked there by Greg Matthews. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, this is a pitcher that uh, Eric Garcia can take off on. Doesn't throw hard. Got a slow delivery to the plate, and Garcia's got major speed at first. About a two and a half step lead. Could be taking off on this pitch. 1 0. He stays. 
Swung on and lifted into shallow left field. Should be an easy play for Xavier Cruz to his right in a couple of steps. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Yeah, again, got to sit back on this guy because there is no doubt that if the beat diggers are over-aggressive, they're going to have trouble against the right-hander, Brayden Peef. Two down for Tyler Monday, who laced a double in that sixth inning that gave the beat diggers the lead for good on Thursday. Big, strong, right-handed hitter. The stretch. And the pitch runner going, and that's inside. The throw to second is going to be way late, and Garcia's got an easy stolen base his third of the year. So Garcia now in scoring position. Monday with a chance to drive him in. One ball, no strikes. Big lead at second for Garcia. Right and Peef delivers. Up and in. Two balls. And no strikes to tighter Monday with Trevor Blake on deck. University with a 2 nothing lead. You can follow each and every pitch at detailed accounts on KSIRsports.com. You have a nice animated feature, a view of a baseball field, all the players. Swag and a miss. Holy Mahungus. He swung very early on that pitch. It's 2-1. Two, two balls, one strike. Again, Garcia with the lead. Second baseman Cruz cheating a little bit towards the bag. And the 2-1. Swag and a miss. Just a little bit too aggressive. It's two balls and two strikes. Again, all Brayden Peep is going to do is just go with that off-speed stuff. And if the beat diggers are way too aggressive, they're not going to hit the ball the way they'd like to. They trail 2 to nothing in the bottom of the first in Fort Morgan. And the 2-2 offering. And did he wave at it in the dirt? Did not. There'll be a full count. Three and two to the junior third baseman. Garcia again with a sizable lead at second. Right and Peef with a three ball, two strike count to Tyler Monday. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was just way out in front. Couldn't make the adjustment. The inning is over. No runs on one hit, no errors, and a man left in scoring position. Let's head to the Second inning in the Fort Morgan Spring Classic. University 2, brush nothing. This is 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. 2 to nothing University over Brush as we go to the second inning in the championship game of the Fort Morgan Spring Classic. Seven, eight, and nine hitters against right-hander Ryan Hirschfeld. It'll be Brandon Ewing, Blake Cohen, and James Medina. Against right-hander Ryan Hirschfeld, who threw 26 pitches in the opening frame. Righty against righty to begin the second on a very windy Saturday. The wind and offering. Swag and foul tip of the plate. No balls and one strike. The beat diggers 2-0 and going into this game. University at 1-1, one and one, but the reason they're playing in the championship game, all the teams were 1-1 one and one yesterday. Fastball is low and away, 1-1. One and one. But they had the greatest run differential. They beat Connor for 12-0. By the way, Fort Morgan won their game today over Meade, 11-1. to The pitch swung on and tapped to the left side. The shortstop, Maris, charges, fields, throws to first, and there's one down in the top of the second inning. One down for Blake Cohen. Cohen hitting for the right side. The pitch swung on, hit right underneath the glove of Hirschfeld towards the second baseman. Rosenbrock has it, throws to first, and there's two down. Nice play by Rosenbrock, and maybe a beat diggers got fortunate that Hirschfeld didn't touch that baseball with his glove. If not, that could have ricocheted for a base hit. But instead, there's two down. As Blake Cohen is retired, here's James Medina hitting from the left side. The wind and pitch. Swag and a miss and a fastball down and in. It's 0 and 1. No balls and one strike. Hirschfeld working quickly. The pitch, and that is a strike at the knees. Took something off it. It's 0 and 2. 
No balls and two strikes to the left-handed hitting right fielder for University. Bulldogs leading two to nothing. Here in the top of the second. Wine and offering. Swung on, grounded to the third baseman Monday, but it goes over his glove on a horrendous hop. That's going to be a base hit. I mean, that took a Baltimore chop. And University has their fourth hit. Yeah, that was a horrendous hop. I mean, no way you can feel that one. That'll bring up Xavier Cruz. Throw to first back in diving is Medina. Two down. Now, University began their first inning rally with two down and nobody on the pitch. In the dirt, gets away from Blake to his right. Runner going to second to throw on a hop and late. And that'll be a wild pitch. The wild pitch advances Medina to second. One ball, no strikes. The offering. Swung on and grounded on the left side. Mares backs up, has it. Long throw to first, and that's in time to retire Xavier Cruz. The inning is over. No runs on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Let's head to the bottom of the second inning. It's University 2. Brush nothing in the Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game. This is 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Fort Morgan. University leads the Brush Bee Diggers 2-0 as we head to the bottom of the second inning. And right-hander Brayden Peef will face the 5, 6, and 7 hitters. And hopefully for the Bee Diggers even more, Trevor Blake will step in. We think our catcher hitting 200 in the early going, as is Hirschfeld, who's on deck. And Beef registered a couple of strikeouts in the opening frame with that deceptive off-speed pitch. Here's the offering. Curveball is hit weakly on the ground to third. Guy Arza has it. He sets and throws to first, and there's one down. And there is no doubt the Beat Diggers are going to have to make significant adjustments based on what we've seen from four of the first five hitters, just way out in front. That'll bring up Ryan Hirschfeld. The pitcher. Yeah, if you don't sit back on this guy, there's going to be lots of uh, weak grounders and strikeouts. Wind by Keith the pitch, and the breaking ball is low and away. One ball and no strikes. Again, you can follow it pitch by pitch. You're going to Full view of a baseball field with all the players' position, KSIRsports.com. A pitch-by-pitch detailed account. The breaking ball is a beauty right down the middle for a strike, and the count is level at one ball and one strike for each and every game of the 2012 Rush B. Digger baseball and Fort Morgan Mustang baseball season. Wine in the 1-1 offering, and that is taken for a strike at the belt. One and two to Ryan Hirschfeld. University scored their two runs in the top of the first. And the one-two pitch. Swung on and grounded to short. Should be an easy play for Breen. Sets, throws, two down. Four in a row have been retired by Braden Peef. And Peef is the perfect example that in this game, in the game of baseball, you don't have to throw hard to be successful. Right now, he's... Taking care of the beat diggers, retiring five of the first six. Here is Dylan Acosta, the right-handed hitting center fielder. Swag and a miss. That slow breaking ball. It's way out in front. It's 0-1. Acosta's looking for his first hit of the season in the early going. Beat diggers are 2-0 and going in. Here's the line and offering. Swung on, grounded to third. Galarza has it, sets, fires to first, and Acosta's retired. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Braden Peef. We play two in the Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game. University two, brush nothing. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. And the Bay Diggers hold a 2 nothing deficit here, actually, going into the top of the third inning in the Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game. Greg Matthews, Alex Breen, and Jack Priscola for University. The two, three, and four hitters. 
against right-hander Ryan Hirschfeld, who's had some good control today, 25 strikes and 10 balls. But three two-out hits in the first produced the two runs. Matthews struck out, swinging in the first. The right-handed hitting catcher awaits the pitch from Hirschfeld. That's a fastball right there for a strike. Thigh high, it's 0-1. The beat diggers dressed in their maroon jerseys with the gold lettering and gray pants. The pitch, fastball low and away. The count is level at one ball and one strike. To Greg Matthews. The beat diggers have scored 12 runs this year, 10 of those in the sixth inning. So hopefully they don't have to wait that long, especially with a 2 nothing deficit. And the offering in the dirt bounces to the screen. It's 2-1. and one. Hirschfeld trying to unleash a curveball there. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety, the brush grocery cart. The pitch swung on, chopped right off of Hirschfeld's glove to his right. He'll pick it up. He'll throw a balance to first, and that is in time to retire Matthews for the opening out. Excellent play by Hirschfeld. Sticking with that baseball, one down. For Alex Breen, the left-handed hitting shortstop. Green singled and scored in the first. The pitch swung on and grounded up the middle. The shortstop Maris to his left, to the right of the back, fires the first. There's two down. Yeah, the beat diggers are certainly very solid up the middle. Two down for Jack Prisgola. He doubled and scored in the opening frame. Another left-handed hitter for University. Two to nothing Bulldogs with two down in the third. Wine and pitch bounces into Blake on the breaking ball. One ball and no strikes. And Hirschfeld delivers. Swung on, chopped on the right side of the first baseman, Tormolin. Plays it off his glove, then fires the first to the underhand toss, actually, to Hirschfeld. And that's the end of the inning. One, two, three. As universities retired in order in the third, let's head to the bottom of the third. It's University 2, brush nothing. This is 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Braden Beef has retired five in a row as we head to the bottom of the third inning. University leads brush 2 to nothing. In the championship game of the Fort Morgan Spring Classic, the Bay Diggers walk Daniel Soto, Kyle Rosenbrock, and Gregory Mares, the 8, 9, and 1 hitters. The Bay Diggers are looking to extend what so far is a perfect season win loss column. Soto, the right handed hitting right fielder. Hitting 167 in the early going. And Braden Peef beginning his third inning of work. Here's the wind and pitch, and the breaking ball is low and away. One ball and no strikes. To Soto. Beef delivers. Swag and a miss. Count is level at one and one. Again, just going with slow, slower, and slower than that. One ball and one strike. Hitting with a close stance is Soto. Wind and pitch, and he swings and hits a foul off the end of the bat, and that's a clear indication that he's well out in front of that pitch. One and two to the beat digger right fielder. Two nothing University. They scored their two runs in the first inning. These two teams will meet in Greeley next month. Wine and offering. Swung on, hit foul up the third base side towards the digger dugout. Count remains at one and two. The beat diggers have one hit so far, a base hit by Eric Garcia in the first inning. University with four hits in the game. Wind and pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him on the breaking ball. And that is strikeout number three for Braden Peef. One down for Kyle Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock.
Rock hitting for the ninth position in this game. The freshman wind and pitch. Swung on, shot foul up the third base side. That's one of the better swings taken by a beat digger so far. Actually waited on that nicely, just a little bit foul. So that's six in a row retired by the right-hander, Braden Peef. No balls, one strike, one out, bases empty, bottom three. University leads brush in the championship game of the Fort Morgan Spring Classic, two to nothing. Swung on, that is hit on the ground to Galar's at third. He's got it, and he fires the first offline, and the tag is applied by the first baseman, Ewing, and there's two down. That'll send up Gregory Maris. Maris struck out to begin the bottom of the first. That's seven straight. Retired by the right-hander, Brayden Peef. Wine and pitch. Swing and a miss. Again, just way out in front. They've got to make the adjustment the second time around the order. The offering, down and in, one ball and one strike. I mean, it's fun to watch guys who can throw hard, but this is the other aspect, the art of pitching, when you can just baffle the opposing team with a lot of deception. And the 1-1 offering, swung on foul straight back, count as at one and two. I mean, if you ask the beat diggers right now, they would prefer to face somebody who throws much harder than Braden Peef does because their timing is completely off for the most part. One and two of the bases empty and two down in the third. Line by Peef and the pitch, and that hit Gregory Maris there the second time he's been hit this season, right around the left ankle. So Maris is at first with two down. For Eric Garcia, who laced a single into right field. And Gregory has plenty of speed at first. Let's see if he can get into scoring position for Garcia. And keep in mind, Garcia is the only lefty in the lineup and has the only hit. Maybe he's just got a better view of the pitches thrown by Brayden Peeth, hitting with an open stance. Step off, no throw. Stretch. The offering. Swung on and popped up in the infield on the left side. The third baseman, Galarza, steps in and he makes a basket catch as he goes to the ground, but he gets the job done. The inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a man left. Three complete in Fort Morgan. University, two. Brush nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. University, two. Brush nothing as we head to the fourth inning. And earlier today in Pueblo, the Wiggins boys basketball team won the consolation championship, defeating Sanford as Wiggins won that game 65-54. to And for University, it'll be Jose, not Jose, but Joseph Colarza along with Zach Cruz and Brandon Ewing. I guess Ryan Hirschfeld has thrown just 42 pitches. He's been in control, but a lot of those two first inning runs, that's the difference, the pitch. And the breaking ball is a beauty for a strike on the outer half just above the knees. It's 0-1. Galarza has an RBI single in the game, driving in the second run. Blake setting up on the outside. And the offering. Swing and a miss and a ball in the dirt. 0-2. Your one-stop center for projects around your home office or yard is Ackley Building Center, 1402 Mill Street in Brush. No balls, two strikes to Galarza, the opening hitter here on the top of the fourth. Wind and pitch. Swung on and chopped over the mound. Shortstop Mares behind the bag has it. Fires to first for the out. And there's one down. Well, Mares has been a defensive machine. That's five ground balls hit to him in this game. That'll bring up Zach Cruz, who struck out in his opening at bat. Wind by Hirschfeld and the pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. 
And the offering. Low. 2-0 and oh, to the right-handed hitting second baseman. The big diggers holding right now their own, trailing 2 nothing. The offering swung on. That ball has popped foul off to the right and out of play. It is 2-1. and one. And the pitch swung on, chopped over the mound towards the shortstop. Mares plays off his chest, throws to first. There's two down. Another excellent play on a tough hop there to Gregory Mares. Two down for Brandon Ewing, the first baseman, who grounded to short. <laughs> what else is new? With six ground outs to short, and Maris has fielded all of them. Wind and pitch. Swing and hit off the end of the bat. Foul. Off to the right, behind the plate. It's 0-1. No balls in one strike. And Hirschfeld delivers. Swung on. Pop foul on the fastball up in the zone. It is 0-2. Oh, he's looking good this afternoon. The big diggers just have to get the bats going. Trailing 2 to nothing in the top of the fourth inning against University in this Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game. The wind and the 0-2 pitch. And that is taken just outside. Good spot there. 1-2. And Hirschfeld has retired six in a row. Wine in the one-two pitch. Swung on tap foul. Count remains at one and two. Unofficially, 53 pitches thrown by Hirschfeld, but he's been all over the strike zone. 37 strikes and only 16 balls. Wind continues to blow pretty heavily here in Fort Morgan. One ball, two strikes, two down. Nobody on. The beat diggers trail by two. And the pitch to Brandon Ewing. And that is in the dirt. That's a good thing that Ewing didn't swing at that because that got away towards the digger dugout. It's two and two. No matter what your loan needs, stop by High Plains Bank, Central Avenue, and Wiggins. Inquire about checking and savings accounts as well as CDs. Swung on and popped up on the right side, twisting towards the second baseman, Rosenbrock, at the outfield. He makes a two-handed grab. The inning is over. One, two, three for Hirschfeld in the fourth. We're halfway through in this Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game at University 2. Brush nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, the pitching has certainly picked up in this game. Ryan Hirschfeld has retired seven in a row for Brush. Brayden Peef has retired eight of the last nine for University as we head to the bottom of the fourth. And the Bulldogs lead the Beat Diggers two to nothing. And the Beat Diggers send up the heart of the order with Mitch Tormolin, Titer Monday, and Trevor Blake. Tormolin popped to left in the opening frame against this right hander. Again, follow us on KSIRsports.com, an animated version of this game. Pitch by pitch detail. Wind and offering. And that is in the dirt with a breaking ball. One ball and no strikes. The beat diggers have had two base runners, and Eric Garcia single in the first, and Gregory Mares was hit by a pitch in the third. Wine in the 1-0. Swag and a miss on the off-speed pitch. The count is level at 1-1. One and one. one ball and one strike. And the offering. And that is inside with a changeup, two and one. Well, everything really is a changeup thrown by Braden Peef. Two and one to the beat digger first baseman. And that is taken for a strike on the outer half of the knees. Count level at two and two. The beat diggers have not had the leadoff man on, on yet. And that is hit foul off the end of the bat towards the first base dugout. 
occupied by University. The count remains at two and two. Yeah, the best way to approach this pitcher, uh, obviously, is, is to sit back and almost try to hit the other way. 2-2 two -two pitch, swung on and hit in the air, foul and out of play over the University dugout on the first base side. Count stays at 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, Brayden Peep is one of these pitchers who could probably throw about 130 pitches and not be tired because he doesn't exert a lot of energy. Only 39 so far, 28 of the 39 for strikes. Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan is equitable savings and loan. And like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Greg Mullen is there. Let Greg Mullen work with you to get the discounts you desire and the coverage you need. That's State Farm agent Greg Mullen. Bee Diggers trailing 2 to nothing, with nobody on and nobody out in the bottom of the fourth inning as the catcher Greg Matthews is in that university dugout, I guess, making some equipment adjustment over there. Bee Diggers are back in action on Thursday. Keep in mind, it's a 3 o'clock start. 3 o'clock in Broomfield against Holy Family. And, in fact, the Bee Diggers only have three games. So we're sitting here at March 10th, and Brush only has three more games in the month of March after this. They play Thursday at Holy Family, the following Thursday, the 22nd, in Yuma, and then two weeks from today, their regular season home opener against Adams City. Then they're off for a couple of weeks for spring break and won't be back on the field till April 7th, I believe. Now, that'll be a Thursday game against the Eaton Reds. Head coach Tim Galindo trying to solve things with his catcher there on the equipment, Greg Matthews. It was two balls and two strikes once we resume play. Very quick-moving game so far, but it just slowed down for the equipment issue, apparently with the face mask. And, again, keep in mind, you can follow the detailed account here, KSIRsports.com. They don't have a backup mask? Well, that's... I've had my car fixed quicker than that, I think. Or maybe the oil change, but uh, it's taking a while. As we're still awaiting, Greg Matthews is just in front of that university dugout. There's an issue, it looks like, with a face mask. Let's take a break. We're in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's 2 nothing University over Brush on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. And the pitch to Tor Mullen swung on foul off the end of the bat. It remains two and two. Forty-five and a half minutes of game time and three and a half minutes of adjustment time for the equipment, but we're back underway. Two nothing University here in the bottom of the fourth inning at the Fort Morgan Spring Classic. Right hander Brayden Peef. And the pitch is outside. Three and two to Mitch Tormolin. The beat digger, junior first baseman. Wine and offering. Swung on, grounded up the third base side, but just foul. Well, the one thing that uh, Tormone is doing, he's working this pitcher. This will be the ninth pitch of the at-bat. It'll turn into about a five-minute at-bat, but at least Tormone is doing the job here of working this pitcher, Braden Peef. Wine in the 3-2. Swung on, grounded left side, and it's popped over there by Gallarza. Picks it up, long throw to first. That's going to be late. And Tormolin beats it out, but that will be an error on the third baseman, Galarza. And the beat diggers, for the first time in the game, have got the leadoff man on base. Here is tighter Monday. Monday struck out to end the first against this right-hander, Peef, who in the game has got three strikeouts. And Monday, with tons of power, is now the tying run. I'm not sure how the wind will play here once the ball gets up in the air towards that outfield. The stretch and the offering. And that is a strike. Another slow breaking ball in there. 
No balls and one strike. The tighter Monday, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Actually waited on that pitch, but it tied him up down and in. 0 and 2. Yeah, there's a huge gap in right center field. The offering swung on tap foul up the third base side. Count remains at 0 and 2. University leads here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two to nothing. One on, nobody out. And the offering. Swag and a miss. Got him on the slow breaking ball. That's strikeout number four for Brayden Peef. And there is one down in the bottom of the fourth inning. That'll send up Trevor Blake, who grounded the third in the second. There's the wind. And the pitch. And that is upstairs. One ball, no strikes. And the beat diggers have not hit one ball to the right side. Again, just well out in front of everything. Ground balls, fly balls, even strikeouts. Got to go the other way against this guy. And a step off, no throw. Back in diving is Tormolin. One ball, no strikes, one out, one on. Two nothing, Bulldogs over the beat diggers in the Fort Morgan Sprig Classic Championship game in the bottom of the fourth. And the pitch. That is right there for a strike. The off-speed pitch at the knees on the outside corner. And the count is level at one and one. For Mullen with a very conservative lead at first. And Peef delivers. Swung on pop foul and over the screen and out of play. One and two. I don't think that was his pitch. That was way up there. Yeah, against a pitcher like Peef, you've got to get one down in the zone. Those pitches that are elevated almost benefit the off-speed right-hander. One and two to Blake. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Another slow one. On the outer half, there's two down. Strikeout number five for Brayden Peef, who right now is throwing a masterpiece against the beat diggers, who've been limited to one hit. Ryan Hirschfeld grounded a short in the second. Heading with an open stance for the right side. And the offering. That's a strike. Again, another changeup in there. It's 0 1 on the outer half belt. High. Hirschfeld, the sixth place hitter in this lineup. And a pitch. Swung on, grounded left side, bring it at the backhand, and then he plays it off his glove, and the ball rolls into shallow left field. That'll be a base hit. The second hit of the game for the beat diggers. Advancing to second is Torp Molen. And the beat diggers have a runner in scoring position. That'll set up Gillen Acosta, who grounded to third in the second. Runners take their leads with two down. And the offering. Fastball is outside. One ball and no strikes. University with four hits in this game. The B-Diggers have two now. And the 1-0. That is a little bit high. 2-0 with that changeup. And Braden Peef has not even come close to walking a hitter. 2-0 is about as far down as he's been in the count. He's thrown only 15 balls in this game and 40 strikes. 2-0, the runners take their leads. And the pitch. That's a strike. Again, took something off it on the outer half. It's 2-1. and one. University leads brush 2 to nothing. Again, you can follow us at detailed pitch-by-pitch accounts on KSIR sports.com. The pitch. Swung on and driven down the left field line. That one is trouble. That one is headed for the corner. Rounding third and scoring is Torn Mullen. Racing the third base. 
It's Ryan Hirschfeld. He's going to get the green light. He's going to score. It's a two-run double for Dylan Acosta. And the B-Diggers have tied the Bulldogs at two here in the bottom of the fourth inning. And that was late. Talk about waiting on a pitch. That's exactly what Acosta did. And it paid off for the B-Diggers. And here's Daniel Soto. Soto in the game is 0 for 1. He struck out in his first plate appearance. Breaking ball is grounded left side. Garlars is a third baseman, has it. Fires to first. The inning is over. But the Pete Dicker scored two runs on two hits. There was an error. And one man left. Let's head to the fifth inning. It's a brand new ball game. Brush 2, University 2 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Eddie Underwood Field in Fort Morgan. We're deadlocked at 2. As we head to the top of the fifth inning, and Ryan Hirschfeld will face the 8, 9, and 1 hitters, Blake Cohen, James Medina, and Xavier Cruz. Dylan Acosta has tied the game with a two-run double. The pitch swung on, grounded to the shortstop, Mares. He's got it. He fires to first. There's one down. Seven ground balls hit to Gregory Mares in this game, and he's been perfect defensively. One down for James Medina, who singled but was stranded in the second. Medina hitting from the left side at one for one in the game. The wind by Hirschfeld and the pitch swung on and driven to left field. Garcia comes on and he makes a catch as that ball is twisting to his right. But Garcia flags it down. That was not an easy catch because that ball was hit on a line and twisting away from Garcia. But he puts it away for the second out. That'll bring up Xavier Cruz, who's grounded to short twice. Wind and pitch. Breaking balls. A strike. So and one. That's nine in a row retired by Hirschfeld. The pitch swung on. Tap foul up the third base side towards the Digger dugout. It is 0-2. Just shy of the top of the hour. This is 10-10 KSIR. Brush, Fort Morgan, Denver. I'm John Beltran, live from Eddie Underwood Field in Fort Morgan, and the Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game, Russian University deadlocked at two with two down and nobody on in the fifth. And the 0-2 pitch to Cruz. Up and in. Ball goes to the screen. It's one and two. One ball and two strikes. The pitch in the dirt. Blocked by Blake. Count levels at two and two. And the 2-2 two, two offering. Swing and foul take solutions. Takes as much pride in the community just as they do in the products they provide to their consumers. Cargill Meat Solutions, part of the KSIR B106 scholarship program. The pitch in the dirt. Three and two. Now, Hirschfeld was ahead of this hitter, Cruz. Let's see if he comes with a gas on the 3-2 pitch. Nope, he short-armed it. That's ball four. So the free pass issued as the first walk issued in this game by Hirschfeld. That ends the string of nine consecutive Bulldogs retired. That'll bring up Greg Matthews, who struck out and grounded out. Head coach Mark Muniz speaking with a plate umpire, uh, umpire. Excuse me. We're deadlocked at two here in the top of the fifth inning. You know, normally the leadoff hitter in the lineup can run. We'll see if Cruz decides to do so. The stretch, the pitch, and the breaking ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. 
Boy, that wind is picking up even more. The dirt is flying all over the infield. The pitch. That's a strike at the knees on the outer half of the fastball. The count is level at one ball and one strike to Greg Matthews when the game is over two. Gorgeous day. The temperature, lower 60s, upper 50s. The pitch swung on, hit weakly on the ground to the right side. Second baseman Rosenbrock charges, flips the first, and the inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and a man left. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth inning with a score. Brush two, University two on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. 2-2, University and Brush from Fort Morgan. As we head to the bottom of the fifth inning, And the bait diggers will have the 9-1-2 and two hitters up against right-hander Braden Peef. It'll be Kyle Rosenbrock, Gregory Maris, and Eric Garcia. The diggers just broke through with that two-run fourth inning thanks to Dylan Acosta's two-run double. Rosenbrock in the game is 0-for-1. He grounded a third in the third. And if the beat diggers can just get up by a run, I mean, we saw on Thursday, they've got two major closers on this team in Rosenbrock and Gregory Maris, guys who throw nothing but gas and sharp breaking balls. Rosenbrock had a big two-run single in that seven-run sixth inning, in which the beat diggers rallied to beat the Mustangs on Thursday, 7-6. to six. This will be the 59th pitch delivered by Braden Peef. And here it is. And the breaking ball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. And the 1-0 pitch in the dirt. 2-0. 2 and 0 to Kyle Rosenbrock, the freshman second baseman. Line by Peef, the offering. Swung on and lifted into shallow center field. Should be an easy play for Prisgola, and he makes the catch just two steps to his right. And there's one down for Gregory Maris, who is 0 for 1. He struck out and was hit by a pitch. This will be a good time for Maris to pick up his first hit of the season. Been on base a few times. Wine in the offering. And he takes it low and away with that changeup, 1-0. and The Diggers would have the advantage here being the home team, but they've got to break through and separate themselves for the Bulldogs in this 2-2 game in the fifth. And the pitch. Swung on, hit weakly in the air into shallow right center field. Long run for Priscola, and the ball is going to be caught by the second baseman, Zach Cruz, as that ball is twisting towards the infield. The wind pulled it in, and that ended up being an outstanding play by Cruz after he misjudged it. There's two down. Two down for Eric Garcia. Garcia in the game is one for two. A base hit, and he popped the third in his last at bat, and he takes the change up for a strike at the knees. So and one. No balls and one strike. Wind and pitch. Swung on line up the middle for a base hit. Garcia laces that in the center field. And the beat diggers have a two out base runner. That'll bring up Mitch Tormolin, who has popped the left and reached on an air and scored on the two-run double by Dylan Acosta. Garcia already has a stolen base in this game. Brayden Teeth delivers. That is a strike. Just below bell level, it's 0-1. Garcia again with a short lead. Yeah, Peef with that sneaky delivery. Tormolin awaits the 0-1 pitch. Here it is. And that is outside with a breaking ball. The count is level at 1-1. The 
The Beat Diggers and Bulldogs are deadlocked at two. You can follow us on KSIRsports.com. I think we have Lobos written up there, but it is the University Bulldogs against these Beat Diggers. And the pitch runner going. And inside to throw to second on the slide and safe. Garcia has his fourth stolen base of the season. And it's two balls and one strike to Tormolin. In the bottom of the fifth inning, deadlocked at two. Tormolin is one swing away from giving the beat diggers the lead. And Peef delivers. Swung on and driven into left field. That ball is way right back there. That's going to sail over the left fielder, Xavier Cruz's head. All the way to the fence, rounding third is Garcia. He will score. Tom Mullen with an RBI double has given Brush a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. And that ball was laced. A nice job of Tom Mullen sitting back and delivering that one. And Cruz had no play for University. That'll bring up tighter Monday. A little conference on the Hill. And they've broken that one up. And here comes Monday. Well, the beat diggers have Try to establish patience. It's paid off. And this was a two-out rally. A single by Garcia, stolen base, and then Tormolin with an RBI double. And the pitch to Monday. And he takes it for a ball, just a little bit high. That was close. One ball and no strikes. I think if Monday can get ahead in the count, that would certainly help his cause. He's been behind in the count both times. The stretch and offering. Swing and a miss. One ball and one strike. Actually, he took Peef to a 3-2 count in his first at bat. Tormolin with a sizable lead at second. Monday awaits the 1-1. Swing and a miss on the changeup. It's 1-2. and two. One ball, two strikes, two outs, one on, one in. The Beat Diggers lead by a run in the bottom of the fifth inning in this championship game of the Fort Morgan Spring Classic. The pitch, swing and a miss. Got him on the changeup. And Peep strikes out Monday for the third time. We have played five innings to score. Brush three, University two on 1010KSIR, KSIR.com. Last year when the Beat Diggers defeated University during the regular season, Ryan Hirschfeld went the distance in a 2-1 to victory. Now he's got a 3-2 to two lead in Fort Morgan. Only six outs to go, but they'll have to face the heart of the lineup here. Alex Breen, Jack Prescola, and Joseph Galarza. Breen in the game is one for two. Singled and scored in the first and grounded to short in the third. Ryan Hirschfeld ready. Wind and pitch. And that is a strike. Took a lot off that pitch. It's 0-1 right at the knees. Hirschfeld has a very easy delivery, and that really helps him as he drives towards the plate. 0-1. Swung on and lined down the left field line. That is trouble. That's headed for the corner. Garcia's going to cut it off, and he's going to throw it back towards the infield, and he holds Brain to a single. That's the fifth hit by University, but that could have been major trouble. An outstanding play out there by Eric Garcia. That'll bring up Prisgola who doubled in a run and scored in the first and then grounded to the first baseman, Tor Molin, three innings ago. So University with a tying run at first base. The pitch swung on and lifted into left center field. Eric Garcia to his left is under it and makes the catch, and there's one down. One down from Joseph Galarza. Galarza in the game has singled, and he's grounded a short. So he is one for two. The stretch, throw back to first. 
nothing doing there. And the offering. Fastball, a strike on the outer half of the knees. It's 0-1. At 502 Ensign in downtown Fort Morgan, the place to shop for all of your appliance needs is B&B Appliance, a member of the Brand Source Retail Program. Short lead at first for Breen. The stretch, the pitch runner going and swung on and hit up the first base side, and that ball stays fair. Blake picks it up and throws the first for the out. That was an amazing play by Blake. I think he threw it over the left shoulder of Galarza. I don't even know how Galarza made contact with that ball, but nonetheless, an outstanding play by both Blake and Tormola, not getting distracted by that throw, advancing to second is Breen. Two down for Zach Cruz. The pitch in the dirt blocked by Blake. It's 1-0. and One ball, no strikes. And that is low and away. 2-0. and oh. Cruz in the game is struck out and grounded out. The stretch. 2-0 pitch. Swung on. That ball is late foul. Very foul. Off to the right. Luckily, nobody was driving through at that point. It is 2-1. and one. On the right-handed hitting second baseman, the beat diggers are four outs away from wrapping it up. And the 3-2 pitch, here it is. Swung on, grounded to the shortstop. Mares on a nice Sunday hop. Throws to first and a little bit off line, but for a moment, nope, he couldn't keep his foot on the back. That's going to be an error on Maris. The throw is up the right field side, and Cruz is safe. Brain advances to third, but that is the first error committed by the beat diggers in this game. That'll bring up Brandon Ewing. First and third with two down. The beat diggers up three to two. The pitch swung on, chopped on the left side. Monday dies, and Maris has to play it off his body. The ball rolls into left field. That'll be a base hit. Scoring is Alex Breen, and the game is deadlocked at three. That will be an unearned run. Allowed by Ryan Hirschfeld. That ball is just hit perfectly, not hard at all, but perfectly in the hole. We are deadlocked at three. Blake Cohen in the game is grounded out twice. He swings and lines it down the right field line. That is trouble. That's a base hit. Zach Cruz is going to round third. He's going to score. The ball is bobble out there. Advancing the third is Brandon Ewing. And University has now taken a 4-3 to three lead. So back-to-back hits after a beat digger error. And the Bulldogs now lead by a run. Here's the left-handed hitting James Medina, who's singled and lined to left. He's one for two. The pitch, breaking ball is up and away. Well, the good news for the beat diggers is they have scored ten runs this year in the sixth inning. Three against Platte Valley, seven against Fort Morgan but they want to prevent any further damage down by a run. The offering, that's a strike. One ball and one strike. Yeah, these runs allowed by Hirschfeld are unearned following the two-out error. The stretch in the offering. Swung on, fouled off to the left. It's one and two. Yeah, it's unfortunate because Maris has been outstanding defensively today, and it was just a... A throw that was a little bit up the right field side. One ball, two strikes, two outs, two on, two in the pitch. Inside with a fastball. Count is level at two and two. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title on West Kiowa and Fort Morgan. 2-2 pitch. Swung on and driven foul down the left field side and out of play. 
Count stays at two and two. Hirschfeld unofficially thrown 83 pitches. Unfortunately for him, he's thrown more than he wanted to in this frame. Coming up in the bottom of the sixth inning, the beat diggers will have the five, six, and seven hitters. So here we go. It'll be another 2-2 two -two pitch. To James Medina with a 4-3 to three university lead in the sixth. The pitch swung on and hit weakly up the middle, headed for center field. That's a base hit. And staying at second is going to be Blake Cohen scoring is Brandon Ewing, University 5, brush 3. And again, these are all unearned runs, all with two outs. Didn't hit it hard, but hit it in the right place. There'll be a visit to the mound. By pitching coach John Hirschfeld. And yeah, just tough for the beat diggers. See. Three hits in a row, all with two down. Four consecutive batters have reached. It was a 2 nothing University lead for a while. Beat Diggers tied it at two, went up 3-2. to two. In the bottom half of the fifth inning, on the RBI double from Tor Mullen, and then after Alex Breen singled, the next two were retired, but the Gregory Mayer's error allowed the inning to go on. And then three consecutive base hits. And the conference continues on the hill. I don't think there's a change to be made here. I, I don't see one. Nope, there will be. Mitch Tormolin will come into the game. Let's take a one-minute break. Tormolin on the mound for brush as the beat diggers trail the University Bulldogs 5-3. to three. On 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Xavier Cruz takes a ball. University with three runs here in the sixth inning. Mitch Tormolin, the new pitcher, he threw a scoreless inning against Fort Morgan on Thursday. First and second with two down. The offering way outside. Two balls and no strikes. The beat diggers were four outs away with a 3-2 to two lead and then an error and three hits. That put the Bulldogs back out on top for the second time in the game by two runs. 2-0. That's right there for a strike at the knees with a fastball. It is 2-1. Off of second is Cohen. At first is Medina. And the 2-1 pitch outside. 3-1 and one. on deck is Greg Matthews, who's 0-3 for 3 in the game. So the B-Diggers might not mind facing him, but then again, sometimes you go over and then you have that one big swing. See if Tor Mullen can throw a strike here on three and one. And it is just low and away. A walk to Xavier Cruz. And the bases are loaded. But Greg Matthews struck out in the first, grounded to the mound in the third, and grounded to second in the fifth. And Tormolin will operate from the windup where he feels more comfortable against the right-handed hitting catcher. Wind and pitch. Swag and a miss with a fastball. Threw it right by him. It's 0-1. No balls and one strike. And the offering. Swung on line. Caught by the first baseman, Hirschfeld. And the inning is over. However, three runs. On three hits, one huge error, and the bases were left loaded. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. The score, University 5, Brush 3. You're listening to the Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, it's time for a beat digger rally. We've reached the critical inning for Brush, the sixth inning, where they have scored 10 runs combined in each of their first two games. 5-3 to three University. It'll be Trevor Blake, Ryan Hirschfeld, and Dylan Acosta against the right-hander Brayden Peef, who's thrown 73 pitches in a game. 
So it looks like he's got enough to go the distance if he needs to. The bee diggers want him to go to the distance in a six-inning affair there for him, which means Brush could close it out in the seventh. Wine and pitch. That's a strike on the changeup. It's 0-1 right down the middle. Owen one to Blake, the offering. Swan on hit off the fist towards the shortstop brain. He's got it. He throws the first. There's one down. As Blake is retired. That'll bring up Ryan Hertfeld, who's grounded to short and singled and scored. Well, the Beat Diggers did lose to the University 15 to nothing last year when they were shorthanded against University, uh, obviously, in the Spring Classic, then beat them in the regular season when it counted. The changeup is a strike. They're certainly not done with this game. But they've got to generate a sixth inning rally. Down 5 to 3 with one out. Wind and pitch. Swung on line to right field. That's a face hit. And Ryan Hirschfeld is now 2 for 3. And again, that's what we were documenting early. You've got to go the other way on this guy. You do that, you've got a nice chance of scoring some runs. Nico Guzman is the courtesy runner for Hirschfeld. He'll be at first base. And here is Acosta, one for two with that two-run double. The offering swung on and popped up into foul territory. The catcher, Matthews, goes over and makes a grab. Shy of the fence. An outstanding play by the Bulldogs catcher. And there's two down. I thought that ball was going to twist out of play. But it was caught for the out. You're right up against the fence. Here's Daniel Soto. Soto has struck out and grounded the third. And he swings and laces at the center field coming on. And off the glove of the center fielder, Priscola, it's a base hit. He nearly made a sliding catch. But it's going to be a base hit for Daniel Soto on that line drive. That was nearly flagged down. And that'll bring up Kyle Rosenbrock. Bead diggers now have seven hits in the game. Rosenbrock grounded to third and then popped to center. He's 0 for 2. Runners take their leads. Swung on, tap foul at the plate at 0 and 1. Well, the Bead diggers won in dramatic fashion on Thursday against Fort Morgan and then separated themselves with only a 2 to 1 lead on Platte Valley before scoring three runs. He's got a huge gap in right center. If he can find it, a one pitch, and that is just inside. Braden Keith thought that he had strike two there, but it's ball one. One ball, one strike. Two on, two outs. University leads five to three in the bottom of the sixth inning. You can follow us live on KSIRsports.com, pitch by pitch. Pitch to Rosenbrock, outside with a changeup. Two and one. Runners take their leads. Guzman at second, Soto at first. Rosenbrock awaits the pitch, and that is low. Three and one with Gregory Maris on deck. Well, if he gets to a 3-2 count, the runners will take off. But first things first, this pitch is going to be delivered. Three and one to Rosenbrock. The stretch. And the offering. That's outside with a changeup. It's a walk, and the bases are loaded. And Gregory Mares, who's been outstanding defensively but did make a critical error, can atone for that right now. He has struck out, was hit by a pitch, and then popped a second. He is 0 for 2 and looking for his first hit of the season. An outstanding baseball player. Wine and pitch. Swung on and driven foul. Way foul. He got out in front of that one. Down the left field line. 
0-1. Yeah, the bottom line, you got to go the other way. It's just tough to hit that one. You've got to time it out so well. Tormolin timed it out well, as did Dylan Acosta, but it's very hard to time it out against Brayden Peef. This will be the 86th pitch delivered by Peef with the bases loaded, winding up with two down and Rush trailing by two. Here's the offering. Swung on and driven down the left field line, but that should be an easy play, and the catch is made over there by Xavier Cruz, and the inning is over. The v diggers lead the bases loaded. No runs on two hits and no errors. We head to the top of the seventh inning. The score, University 5, Rush 3. This is 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. The hard-throwing Kyle Rosenbrock is into the game for the beat diggers As we head to the seventh inning, University's three-run sixth inning has given them a 5-3 to three lead. Five runs on seven hits, one error, six left on base for University. The beat diggers have three runs on seven hits, one error, and seven left on base. Rosenbrock threw two very effective innings against Platte Valley. He struck out five of the six batters he faced, and the first ten pitches he threw were strikes. Here's the left-handed hitting Alex Brain, who is, takes a ball. One ball, no strikes. Breen is two for three with a couple of runs scored. The wind and offering. That is low with a fastball, 2-0. Two, oh. two balls and no strikes. Rosenbrock called upon just to keep it at a 5-3 game. Swung on, tapped on the right side. The first baseman, Tormolin, has it. Flips to Rosenbrock covering for the out. Boy, you love seeing baseball like that. That's just good, solid baseball by the beat diggers on the 3-1. to One, one down for Jack Prisgola. Prisgola, another left-handed hitter, doubled in a run and scored, grounded to first and popped the left. He's one for three. The pitch swung on line to foul off to the left. About 100 feet foul, if not more. That's how hard Rosenbrock can throw. You can get so far behind on the swing. Hard to put it in play. Wind and pitch. The breaking ball is upstairs, and the count is level at one ball and one strike. University five, brush three. Wind and pitch. Breaking ball up and away. Tough to throw those breakers today. A hard breaking ball because of the wind. Two and one. That's why uh, Braden Peep has really gone with that change up the pitch. Swung on the laced foul off to the left again, same spot. And it's two and two to Jack Priscola on a windy Saturday in the Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game. If University wins, the Beat Diggers and Bulldogs will finish two and one in the tournament. And that one bounces in, and in fact, it hit Priscola on the foot. So the hit by pitch. Puts him at first for Joseph Belarza, who singled in a run, grounded a short, and then hit a tapper up the first base side that was fielded by Blake, who threw him out. So he's one for three. Belarza stepping in. Stretched by Rosenbach. The pitch. Swung on, grounded on the right side, headed towards right field, second baseman Hirschfeld cannot get it. It's a base hit holding up at second is Prisgola. And that's the eighth hit of the game for University. Not hit hard, but in the right spot. That'll bring up Zach Cruz, who struck out, grounded a short, and reached on an air and scored in the three-run sixth inning. Rosenbrock sets. Rosenbrock delivers. Swung on. Fouled off to the right. Look out. It's 0 1. No balls and one strike. The beat diggers are down two, so they've got to keep it right here as we're waiting for some baseballs to be thrown in. Locally in Fort Morgan and Brushing, Meyer Phillips Insurance offers home, health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance. That's Kingmeyer Phillips Insurance. No balls and one strike. Two on, one out. In the seventh, a pitch. 
That is a ball just off the plate. One ball and one strike. To Zach Cruz, the right-handed hitting second baseman. Stretched by Rosenbrock. And the offering. Swung on ground and off Rosenbrock's glove. He's going to try to flag it down. He does. He spins. He throws for the outs. Runners advance, but Rosenbrock with an excellent play. Two down for Brandon Ewing. But two in scoring position. And Ewing in the game is one for three. The pitch, fastball, low and away. One ball and no strikes. Ewing grounded to short, popped to second, and then singled in a run. The stretch by Rosenbrock and the offering. Fastball is just outside, 2-0. and oh. Yeah, the seven, eight, and nine hitters for University all got base hits in their most recent plate appearance. And the 2-0 offering. Swung on, stopped to the left side. That could be trouble. Monday's going to let it roll foul. That's 2-1. and one. Yeah, if that stayed fair, more than likely that would have been a base hit. That ball was chopped very slowly out there. And it would have scored another run. Instead, it's two balls and one strike with two down in the seventh. University leads Brush 5-3 to three in this Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game in at Eddie Underwood Field. One ball, two strikes. The stretch by Rosenbrock. Or check it, two and one, the pitch. And that is taken low and away. Just missed. Ball three, strike one. Well, he's got a base to play with. Three and one to Brandon Ewing. And the offering. Swung on, grounded on the right side. Second baseman Hirschfeld has got it. Sets, throws, and the inning is over. No runs. And on one hit, no errors and two men left. Let's head to the bottom of the seventh to score. University 5, brush 3 on 1010KSIR, KSIR.com. Last chance for the beat diggers as they trail 5-3 to three going into the bottom of the seventh inning. Excellent ball game today from Eddie Underwood Field. And Braden Peef is looking to go the distance. And he's been very effective. 61 strikes and only 25 balls. Eric Garcia in the game is two for three. Single twice, scored, and he popped the third. He is two for three again. Two of the seven hits for Brush. Matthews lays down the sign and the pitch, and that changeup is a strike on the inner half. It's 0-1. University scored all of their runs in this game with two outs. Two in the first, three in the sixth. The pitch swung on, grounded on the right side. Should be a routine play, but takes a tough up on the second baseman, Cruz, into right field. Garcia's going to reach. He could have played that off his chest. A tough hop. We'll have to call that an error, a tough error, as Garcia reaches. That'll be the second error of the game. And again, a tough hop, but not an impossible one. Had he played that off his chest, he would have had a play there. Here's Mitch Tormolin with a tying run. Tormolin popped the left, reached on an air, and doubled in a run. He is one for three in the game. The stretch and the pitch. Swung on and driven into left center field, but to his right, and making the grab is Priscola for the out. Tormolin hit that ball extremely well. But it was caught in center by Prisgola. One down. And that'll send up tighter Monday. Check that, though. We will have a Jesus Cantenas coming up here. And he will step in. And the pitch. Runner going. is taken for a strike. The throw to second is up the shortstop side. And Garcia has the stolen base. No balls and one strike. To 
Jesus Cardenas, who had a big base hit against Platt Valley. It drove in the go-ahead run at the time. The stretch and the offering in the dirt, blocked by Matthews. It's one and one. And Garcia now has five stolen bases on the season. The tying runs at the plate. One ball, one strike, one out, one on. 5-3 University. And that ball is off the glove of Matthews. One over the back of Jesus. Two and one. Uh, even when the beat diggers lose baseball games, they, they always battle. And they still have a shot to win this one with Trevor Blake on deck and Ryan Hirschfeld in the hole. Two balls and one strike. Garcia leads off of second, the stretch. And he goes to third, pitches swung on ground in the right field for a big hit. And Garcia's going to be sent home, and he will score. And Jesus Cardenas comes up with an RPI single, and the B-Diggers make it a 5-4 to four game. So Garcia was going anyway, so he had that head start. And that base hit gets the B-Diggers to within one. And here is Trevor Blake. Blake is 0 for 3. Stretch and pitch. Low and away with a changeup. It's 1 and 0. Blake is grounded to third, struck out, and grounded to short. He is 0 for 3, and Greg Matthews will pay a visit to the hill. Brayden Peep has thrown 94 pitches unofficially in this game. The winning run is at home plate. And the Bee Diggers now have eight hits in the game, which matches University's total. One ball and no strikes. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning. The stretch by Peef. And the pitch to Blake. And he swings and lines it off the pitcher. Throws the shortstop. Could be a double play. Second for one. The first, that's two. A one six. 4-3 double play to end the game. The v score a run on one hit. There was an error and nobody left. Boy, that was a big break there for University. Final score, University 5, Rush 4. We'll wrap it up in two minutes on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. The University Bulldogs have won the Fort Morgan Spring Classic, defeating the Brush Beat Diggers by a score of 5-4. to four. As we welcome you to the Beat Digger Post Game Show, brought to you by Buildings by Design, the most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design build project is picking the right company to build it for a free bid. Call Pat Walter or Travis Lefevre, 970-842-5837. Visit them on the web at buildingsbydesign.com. For University, in this game, five runs on nine hits, two errors, they left eight on base. And for the Beat Diggers, four runs on eight hits, one error, seven left on base. The winning pitcher was Braden Peef, who went the distance, and the loss went to Ryan Hirschfeld. Unfortunately for him, the runs that he allowed in that three-run sixth inning were all unearned, I should say. The University took a 2 nothing lead in the first inning on an RBI double from Jack Prisgola and a run-scoring single from Joseph Galarza. Beat Diggers tied it in the bottom of the fourth and a two-run double from Dylan Acosta. Took the lead in the fifth and an RBI double from Mitch Tormolin, making it 3-2. to two. But then with uh, two outs and... One on base, Gregory Maris with an Aaron throw kept the inning alive for University. And then the Bulldogs came up with RBI singles from Brandon Ewing, Blake Cohen, and James Medina, making it a 5-3 to three game. Eric Garcia, <clears throat> Garcia excuse me, will reach on an error. I think the wind is getting to me here to begin the seventh. And then two batters later, tighter uh, checked out. Jesus Cadenas came up with an RBI single after Garcia stolen second. So 5-4 to four at that point, and Trevor Blake hit a shot. With a man at first, a shot that ricocheted off the pitcher peep towards the shortstop, and it turned into a one six four three double play as Breen and Cruz turned it. University wins the classic. They improved to two and one. The beat diggers fall to two and one and are back in action coming up on Thursday in Broomfield against Holy Family. That game will start 
at 3 o'clock on 1010, as well as KSIR.com. Time of the game today, one hour and 48 minutes. Sound engineer and producer always doing an outstanding job for us is Rose Condes. I'm John Beltran. The final score in this Fort Morgan Spring Classic Championship game, University 5, Brush 4, right here on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.